From Washington, this is VOA News. Muslim Americans react to the events in Egypt. I feel like if you voted for someone, you kind of have to stick with it. And a long sought after terrorist has been apprehended in India. I'm Joe Palka reporting from Washington. Egyptian security forces have cleared most protesters from a Cairo mosque, ending a tense standoff that included eruptions of gunfire. From Cairo, Edward Uranian has more for VOA. Gunshots coming out of the planes heavily Saturday afternoon. Security forces fired at snipers in the minaret of the Al Fatah Mosque. The snipers were captured after they ran out of ammunition, and Brotherhood supporters who were barricaded inside gave up several hours later. Al Jazeera TV had broadcast messages urging Egyptians to go to the mosque to defend those inside. Egypt's interim prime minister, Hazem al-Biblawi, said the new government will work until its last breath. He said our job is to move to a democratic system with a consensual constitution with free elections. Edward Uranian for VOA News, Cairo. Meanwhile, large crowds of Morsi supporters took to the streets Saturday night in defiance of a nighttime curfew. Egypt's escalating tension between the interim government and supporters of um, the ousted president is having an impact in neighboring countries and beyond. A bomb exploded outside of the Egyptian consulate in Libya's eastern city of Benghazi on Saturday. Also here in the United States, in a section of New York City known as Little Egypt, Muslim Americans have their own take on what's going on in Egypt. Adam Phillips reports for VOA. Friday is the holiest day of the Muslim week, and many residents of the Little Egypt neighborhood of Astoria, Queens, took the day off to try to relax from the work week. Muhammad, a Yemeni American. First, they, they elected mercy, right? Now they don't want him anymore. You know, they just want to do what they, they want to. So they're going to fight over it. You know, thousands of people are get, get killed, like, you know, every day. Uh, when I just logged on Facebook, I saw pictures of these Egyptians dead on the street. These little children that want a future and all that, they're dead. Inside a traditional Muslim clothing shop, a young Turkish woman named Amel says that ousting President Morsi of the Muslim Brotherhood was a setback for democracy. I feel like if you voted for someone, you kind of have to stick with it. Adam Phillips, VOA News, New York. For more on this story, visit our website at voanews.com. Indian police have arrested a top militant wanted for masterminding more than 40 attacks around the country, including the 1993 Mumbai blast that killed at least 250 people. Officials say 70-year-old Abdul Karim Tunda was arrested on Friday near India's border with Nepal while in possession of a Pakistani passport. He is an alleged member of the Pakistan-based terrorist group lakshar e taiba India has listed Tunda among its 20 most wanted militants. According to police officials, Tunda's main role has been to teach Muslim children how to make roadside bombs. At least 23 bodies have been found in western Mexico, where local vigilante groups are battling drug cartels for control. Mexican law enforcement officials said nine men, their hands bound and shot, were found Saturday, where local residents have been fighting the Knights Templar drug cartel. In a neighboring state, another 14 bodies were found. None of the victims has been identified and no one has claimed responsibility for the violence. El Salvador has launched an aggressive campaign aimed at protecting school children from a deadly virus spread by infected mosquitoes. Workers spent part of Friday spraying insecticides at puddles and standing water where the mosquitoes breed. The virus is one of the main causes of sickness and death across the tropical country. 
Authorities say two bomb attacks in Iraq have killed at least seven people and wounded more than a dozen others in a predominantly Sunni area. Early Saturday, people were looking over what was left of a coffee house following an explosion in western Baghdad on Friday. Police say that that blast killed six people and wounded two dozen others. Stormy weather has now forced divers in the central Philippines to halt their search for up to 170 people missing at sea after a passenger ferry collided with a cargo ship and sank. At least 31 of the 831 passengers and crew are confirmed dead following the accident off the coast of Cebu province. And militants have reported killed at least 17 people in three separate locations in Afghanistan. For more on all these stories, visit our website at voanews.com. This is Joe Palka from the VOA News Center in Washington.